Tiny houses for those currently living on the streets. It's an innovative program. St. Louis Mayor Lida Cruson introduced thanks to Federal CARES Act money. Here's more of this program and what I found out about it today. This is called a tiny house. 50 of them will be placed on the property at 900 North Jefferson Avenue, the site of the former St. Louis RV Park. Unhoused individuals in St. Louis will be given a tiny house of their own to help get them off the streets. Each tiny house has a bed, a desk, chair, shelving, heating and air conditioning. The site will have Wi-Fi, full bathrooms, showers, laundry facilities and meals. These tiny houses are for men and women. There are 40 single units and 10 double units, two of which are ADA compliant. The first year of the property lease, construction of the homes and other related expenses are being covered by a $600,000 investment from Federal CARES Act funding, which has to be used for COVID related expenses. Certainly uh, folks are much more vulnerable to COVID if they're on the street, if they're living in uh, a, a group setting. Mayor Lida Cruson says this is a forward thinking, innovative and efficient approach to housing that has been done in other cities, but not in St. Louis. Tiny houses are a lot safer, more secure and comfortable than living in a tent or on the street. The mayor sees this as temporary help for people. Having people living in tiny homes long term is not the goal. It's the first step towards moving people off the street and towards a successful future. The mayor also says the project should be up and running by December 1st. By the way, it also has on-site case management and supervision, and residents will have access to wraparound services.